Hi, how you doing? This is uh, a postal game I played uh, about a year and a half ago, perhaps. And uh, I have been preparing to play against the Scotch game for a long time. Uh, Kasparov uh, made it popular. And, but I wanted to come up with a defense that was not well known. And uh, I finally got to spring it on a uh, opponent in uh, correspondence play. Here we go. Normal scotch. Here's the move. Uh, violating opening principles by bringing your queen out early. Uh, not recommended. But the direct threat, of course, is queen takes pawn check. Uh, if white takes the knight, same thing. Queen takes pawn check. The queen interposes. They trade off queens. Uh, black ends up with a with a pawn up, um, even though it might be doubled. White defends. Uh, again, threatening. Queen takes pawn check. White uh, now starts to uh, develop his own threats. The threat, of course, is knight takes pawn check, winning the rook. Black defends the uh, attack square. White gets out of the pin. Black gets rid of the annoying knight. Threatening b4, uh, forking the knights. White ignores this, uh, which is uh, one of the reasons you don't bring your queen out early and develop your pieces. So white ignores the, the threat of b4. What happens if white plays b4? Well, under b4, knight simply goes to d5. And if pawn takes knight, bishop takes bishop, knight takes bishop, and white will fork the king and rook, pick up the rook. So, black defends against that. Now the threat again is uh, pawn push pinning the, forking the knights. White first uh, kicks the black queen, which is very limited in moves at the moment. The only square, uh, also give it a flight square to uh, e6. Alright, here we go. Threat is now. Bishop takes bishop. Knight takes bishop. Knight takes pawn check, forking the king and rook. Black again gets rid of the annoying knight. Now what? This uh, black knight on c6 uh, is very limited in where it can go. Actually, it can't go anywhere at the moment because of bishop takes bishop. So, what does black do? Black comes up with castles. A strange move, but taking advantage of the fact that white king is in the middle. White accepts the piece. Black uh, continues his attack. Now, there's only one piece you can interpose, and that's the bishop. Uh, the black squared bishop is pinned. Now, Black calmly uh, takes off the pawn, opening his uh, diagonal for the white bishop. Bishop takes bishop uh, was possible, but uh, bishop here would have been annoying. If bishop takes bishop here, bishop to uh, g4 would have been a threat. Threatening the rook, 
Brook has to move. The king is now nicely boxed in. Threatening mate, since this bishop is pinned. Uh, blockading, getting out of the pin. Black uh, calmly takes a pawn off. Now there's a couple moves that White can do. He can move his knight back, which will bring uh, Black would bring the rook over. The queen would have to move, and uh, Black would continue to put pressure on this bishop here. Threatening rook over. a mini combination here. Threatening the knight. And also bishop takes pawn check. Protecting the, the knight. Of course the queen can't interpose because of the bishop queen battery. Black finally takes the rook off. Over. And making air for the king. White gets out of the pin. And from here, the game continued uh, to move 66, which I will not uh, play out. With the uh, seven pawns versus three, uh, it was a slight struggle, but black, black won on, on move 66. Uh, I thought it was really an interesting game and also a game of theoretical uh, value. Uh, please post any comments. Thank you for watching.